Um, in this next uh, page, this is actually our ad uh, from state schools. And it is a page, a one-page ad that we have ran in horsepower. And it shows pictures of all four of the stallions. It lists the stallions' names, years. I believe it even lists the heights. A lot of people do like to know that on breeding stallions. They like to compliment their mare if they got a little mare, you know, et cetera. And the stud fees we list, uh, the stallions' breedings, a short description of what they have accomplished, and then also, very importantly, down in the corner, we put that big website there. If you have a website, advertise it, because that website has more information than I could ever talk about or put in an ad. So very important, you want the people to go to the websites. Um, also, of course, we have our um, information. So after if we decide that we want to advertise um, at a horse show or an event, um, we might make up some flyers. And flyers are really good at the horse show for two reasons. One, your horse is already there. And two, he's already dolled up and ready to be shown to somebody. So you can kill two birds with one stone if you happen to have someone there who wants to come see your horse. Now, I wouldn't recommend it for a horse that maybe 50% of the time he has a good day, and 50% of the time he has a bad day. Um, it might just be that bad day that someone sees you show in the pen, and they might say, eh, don't want to look at him now. So that is something to consider if you kind of have an unsteady performer. And then again, on the ad, um, we list age, height, color, sex, and then uh, who they're by, who they're out of, um, maybe say a short description of the actual sires or dams, and then what they have accomplished and contact numbers. And actually, we, uh, this was a real flyer that we put up, and we got a lot of contacts on this. Then the last uh, option that we have is internet. And the internet is a wonderful, wonderful place to advertise. Um, some examples are PleasureHorse.com, DreamHorse.com, Equine.com. Those are my three favorites. Um, for a minimal price, I believe it's somewhere around $40, you can run this horse with a picture for, I think, oh, I think around several months of some sort. And that's actually more inexpensive than <coughs> running it in a publication. And people are more apt to go to a website because it's free. You don't have to go buy the magazine or find the magazine if it is a free publication. It's right at the uh, tips of your fingers. Yeah, and let's go into pleasurehorse.com. Um, and I realize I am gearing this more towards the pleasure horse because that's what I do. I, I ride pleasure horses. Um, but there are other websites, not just for pleasure horses, but all kinds of horses. Um, and then if you go in here, it actually walks you through to list a horse, and you can list a picture. Always put a picture. A picture says a thousand words. A good picture is what sells a horse, just like any product. A good, good picture. Um, another uh, website is uh, dreamhorse.com. And these are really, even if you're really novice at the computer, they will walk you through it on how to, um, you know, put your picture on and take it. And, and list everything. Actually, you have to answer so many questions, and then it puts it all together for you. And then you can do a little write-up on your horse as well. And uh, I highly recommend the websites. They're a great way for advertisement. And like I said before, you know, you have the specialty websites, and you have the general websites. And then um, a lot of the breed associations have websites as well that you can put your kind or your breed of horse on their website. <coughs> 